getting out of Farragut Bay, we're going south. We're gonna go check out some glaciers, hopefully carve some ice off, and uh, meet some friendly locals. <laughs> we had a couple down days in a row, and so we decided to get out on Bob's fishing boat and go check out Leconte Bay, which is where a lot of icebergs in this area come from. It's kind of like the terminus of the glacier is in the ocean. See, we don't want anything that size or bigger, we don't want to hit. Even... Looks like quite the line of ice we have up ahead. Small bit floating on surface, large boat wrecker underneath. What about right there? ended up navigating kind of a minefield of icebergs to get as close as we could. Uh-oh, that's not a good sound. We were about to anchor down and get into the smaller boat and his boat broke down, way on the other side of a whole bunch of ice. We were shipwrecked. Icebergs are floating in from all sides. We're out of reach. Fortunately, we have more boats. <laughs> we had to strap the small little boat onto the side of the huge fishing boat, and over a couple hour period, we ended up navigating back out of there. It's working pretty good. The icebergs are just shifting around you every time the tide comes in and out, and it's like pretty overwhelming being super close to those things. And knowing that we might have been stuck there for the night was a little bit worrying because who knows? I mean, I've seen Titanic, I know how that ended, so. <laughs>